Um, hey guys, uh, it's your boy Slice here, and I got George with me. Yes, sir. I should get it. So, today, guys, we're gonna do the On Liquors podcast. It's been what? How long is the podcast since we've done our last one? Like a couple of months now. Well, well, I mean, since we've done the last ones that you put out, or since we've done the last one that we recorded. Okay, guys, listen up here. So, we, <laughs> we already recorded one, right? And I was like, all right, let me go ahead and upload this. I slept on the fucking editing. I completely forgot. My bad, my bad. I mean, it's a new I fuck up all everything. Anyway, so today, bum guys. Boy. What'd you say? I called you a bum boy. Okay, loser. Uh, so, today, guys, we're going to talk about some topics. Uh, let's talk about college football since it just happened. Uh, any surprising today? Oh, yeah, that's right. Baylor. Baylor. They lost to uh, Oklahoma. I'm pretty I mean, sad about it. That wasn't really surprising, though. I mean, because I, I wanted, you know. I mean, yeah. I mean, most of the people in the country wanted Oklahoma to lose. Cause, I mean, you're, you know, you're, you're, all, only people that want Oklahoma to win are virgins. Let's just be honest. Damn. Unless you're fo- you're forced to go to Oklahoma because your parents. If that's the case, and well, no, 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 it. no, no. Most of the people aren't virgins because I mean they got their sister right there. Oh, you're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. I was thinking some other shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, honestly, there, there. I don't. I have no friends or Oklahoma fans except for. Nah, Caden's my friend. Caden's a Texas fan. Never mind. What the fuck? Like, I don't. I, do you know any people that are Oklahoma fans? Noah. Well, Noah. I don't know. I mean, he wasn't born in Oklahoma, so I don't know why he's an Oklahoma fan. Unless maybe. I don't know either. He's a Michigan fan too, so I hate. Did you hate him? Oh, Ohio State. Over GG. Ohio State, baby. I got. Right. I got to tell you a story. So we we're at a. Uh, shit, I forgot the place. You're retarded. Bottle cap. <laughs> How did I forget? Anyway, so we're at Bottle Cap, right? And we're watching the... Oh, you're retarded, that's why. Shut up. So we're at a Ball <laughs> Cap, right? Ohio State versus Michigan. And uh, <laughs> Michigan fumbled the ball, and no one gets his drink and slams it out the window. The funniest shit ever, bro. He got so pissed. I'm like, oh, we're getting kicked out. We're just done for it. It's over for us, boys. Oh, well, he's almost as retarded as you are. Okay. Uh, George, you are very, very <laughs> retarded. You make me sound smart, and that's hard. Damn. That's like, yeah. that's almost impossible, bro. No, it is impossible. I don't make you sound smart. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> sick. All right, so Ohio State of Wisconsin. It was, a cl- it was a close call, am I right? It was a, it was, no, it wasn't a close call. It was a beat down in the first half by Wisconsin and then a beat down by Oklahoma, by Ohio State in the second half. The only meme you can think about this for, for this game is we have in the first half that one guy got interviewed in the high school game. I don't I'll pop the meme on the screen right now. But yeah, that's pretty much what represents this game right here, essentially. Just Ohio State almost choking it. And imagine if Ohio State lost. Would they still be in the, the top four? Yes. Yeah, so where would they fall at? Like, what, three or four? They would fall, probably fall at... I would probably say four. So you got LSU, obviously, number one, because they beat Georgia. And then Georgia's out of yep. the playoffs. Number two, I mean, Ohio State would drop, so it would be, yeah. Clemson. Yeah, Clemson. Yeah, obviously. By the way, Trevor Lawrence. Um, he's probably he's gonna if he gets drafted high, he's gonna be a bust. I'm telling you straight up right now. There, he's although he is a not. prototypical quarterback, white guy, tall, lanky, has an arm, and he looks. That's like what guys want to see. He's he has probably one of the, the probably the skinniest face in the entire college football scene right now. Mm. I mean, and it, you know, no would want to hit that. He's already he's actually already said he'd want to hit his. You know, he would tap uh, his sister, um, who looks exactly like. Trevor Lawrence. Does he? I mean, does she? Yeah, look it up. All right, but I'm looking up right now. But uh, <laughs> I think I, honestly, if Trevor Lawrence gets drafted by the Raiders, it's done for him. It's over for him. What the fuck, they, bro? What you the see, hell? You see what I'm talking about now? Her face. It has like it's like straight, and then it has like a what's what is it like? It's like how do I describe it? It's like you know the crimson chin. Yeah. Yeah, she has like that type of chin. What the hell? I know the girl from TikTok. The girl looks just like Trevor Lawrence. I mean, I'm not. I, I mean, unpopular opinion at Smash. Honestly, I don't go. She looks like she. Obviously, good. you don't. She looks like she's a free anyway. Uh. So, <laughs> 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 so LSU in Georgia. Um. So you had LSU, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So what, what did that game tell you about LSU? Uh, I mean that they can beat anybody. I think that they have a real, real realistic chance to beat. Ohio State and Clemson, whoever comes in their way, there's, they're a super realistic title, and I think that all but supplies Joe Burrow is the highest. Wait, you said, yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah. So, where do you think he's gonna go in the draft, like right now? First. 
I don't think there's a doubt in my there's no doubt in my mind he didn't go first. Unless he gets injured or something like that. What about my but no, what I about think I think he's first. What about the boy Jake Fromm? Fromm is a fringe first rounder, second rounder, third rounder, somewhere in there. I think he's gonna go either late first or a high second. Somewhere around there. This and he's really not that good and there are other quarterbacks above him. You gotta think about even though two is injured, I think he's a better quarterback. Um, Herbert from Oregon, Easton from Washington, the love out of um, Utah State, and others. Yeah, think about this too. Uh, like this, this quarter. Like, I think. Wait, you you agree with me that this quarter, this draft coming up is like defensive and like you know quarterback kind of driven. Yeah, no, it's really wide receiver driven. Actually, There's There's a, there, I mean, it's a huge receiver class. You think about some high ones. Jerry Judy from Alabama, um, C.D. Lamb from Oklahoma, Henry Ruggs from Alabama, T. Higgins out of Clemson, and among others. I think T. Higgins is going to go pretty pretty high. Yeah, although Jerry Judy and C.D. are going to go, it could go top ten. Honestly, I think T. Higgins is probably going to have it like probably one of the best careers. Receiver-wise, out of that, this whole draft. He reminds me of a, a... He's got the Randy Moss kind of stature and that kind of stuff, but also, like, that kind of attitude, too. I think it's be fun. He, he's probably... What do you think? Like, you said top 10, right? Or a little out of that. Not T. T. Higgins will be a first-round pick. But I don't think he'll be a top 10. I think if he goes to, like, a mid-tier team, he's going to have a good career. That that it reminds me of like a Titans or a Colts, like a, like a, I, I, or or even like a I, he remind he just thinks I think of him as like an AFC South player for some reason. Really? Yeah. Also, like man, um like like Corey Davis. Yeah, Corey Davis is good. I mean, I mean he's okay. He... Hasn't lived up to his. It's it's kind of hard when you have Marcus Mariota as your quarterback. I mean, Mark's yeah, I mean, I guess it's fair, but like Mike Evans has lived up to the hype, and plus, and he's had one of the worst quarterbacks in the NFL. <laughs> James, what, you think James Winston's one of the worst? Yeah, he's probably he throw he has more turnovers than touchdowns almost. I think Phil Rivers has definitely gotten up there, and the, some of the worst quarterbacks starting right now. I mean, well, he's just yeah. been terrible. He's been yeah, he's been really bad. Uh, do you think it's his I last year? Yeah. I think it's the last year being a starter. I don't think it's it's definitely not his last year in the NFL though. Wait, 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 hold up, 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 hold up. Was he just dropping a new song? Let me take a look. People were saying on Twitter he did. You motherfucking clickbaiting piece of fucking shit, dude. Oh my god. Can we just say Uzi is never gonna drop Toronto Take? And I'm gonna kill myself. Cage will kill himself first. No, I'll do it first. You think I'm playing? Kate, no, you don't understand how long Cage has been waiting for his own to come out. He, he's more of an Uzi fan than you are. Bro, I have been a f- What are you- t- What?! How much money do you want to bet? I, Cage is definitely a bigger Uzi fan than you. Hey, tell me his first song that he listened to as Uzi's. I don't know. You'd have to ask Cage. Super Saiyan, his first song listened to Uzi's. It was two days after uh, Love is Rage came out. The first one. That's 2015. I listened to his entire The Real Uzi tape. A lot of songs before that. The Uzi, I'm telling you, Cage Uzi. is a bigger Uzi fan than you. I'll bet you money on it. Bet. Say less. How much? Who, wait, who was your Who was your artist of the decade? It was Uzi. It? it was Uzi. Yeah. So it was it was like, but I think. Do I have a screenshot still? Yeah, but it was Uzi though. And, I think, we'll, and my, you we'll couldn't. Second. You still couldn't get mine from the hints that I gave you. You literally told me a black artist that <laughs> uh, what's it called he drew, draws in white people. White uh, people. That's not. Yep. That's not. What do you what? Okay, he's also he he conforms to pop and like mainstream like hip hop, and he isn't he wasn't he wasn't born in this country. <laughs> I'm I'm I don't I have no clue. One of the biggest rappers in rap today, like like one of the I biggest. I swear artists. to God, it, it's Drake, right? Yeah. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I know. I, I thought ashamed. I thought you were I thought you were saying Kendrick Lamar or something like that. But then you said out of the country. I said, oh, it's probably Drake. I I, I told you that. And you really he, gave me such bad hints. You should have said no, it singer. Can you got it in less hints? Oh, isn't he, he cool? retard? You should have just said like singer or something like that, or white chicks go crazy for him. Then I would have been like, oh. I did. I said white people go crazy for him. Yeah, white people. 
He didn't say women. But Drake is your number so one. So who do white men go crazy for? Cardi? <laughs> Post yeah. Malone, stuff like that? I don't know. Yeah, but he's the, I told you he was a black rapper. You, I'm just saying, moron. though. You're a moron. Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> you're an imbecile. I'm pretty sure you don't even know what that means. Okay, well, you're adopted. <laughs> Actually, I'm not adopted. But at least my parents don't hate me. Your mom. Part Your mom's two. pubic hair. Your mom part two. Your mom part 75. 75? Jesus, you've gone Yeah, because she's left 75 particles in other men. <laughs> I mean, that's not my problem. <laughs> my dad. My dad's got to go. Except for that it was, uh, except for that they were all your best friends. Okay, that's, the, well, time out. What the fuck? Wait, you've been sleeping with my mom? <laughs> I'm not your best friend. You hate me. We have a love-hate relationship. That is very true. You're a cunt. Michael, though. Okay, M Michael, if you're watching this, if you've slept my mom, <laughs> props to you, bro. You're not a virgin no more. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Look at some... These BuzzFeed, these BuzzFeed quizzes. 18 times men actually had the audacity. That's it. That's the title. What the, the fuck? fuck? BuzzFeed is okay. for people it's that... The worst. Yeah, they're, they're, just, they're just trash. Honestly, if you act like BuzzFeed, just just don't okay, be friends. Although there is one thing on BuzzFeed that I do like. It's the um, they have this uh, unsolved true crime, like it's a show on YouTube or whatever. It's actually really good. The sex test has twelve questions. I bet you can't get 12, nine out of twelve right. <laughs> no, that's the clickbait shit. I hate. Yeah. Cheap versus. Oh, have you seen that video? Uh, cheap versus expensive fried chicken. No. It's it's so not worth it. It really isn't worth it. What other college games are important? Uh, let's see. There was the Utah Oregon game. Oh, you Utah Oregon? Yeah, freaking Oregon beat. <laughs> oh my goodness. How the hell? Like, let's let's talk about that for a minute. How the fuck did Utah lose? Utah's retarded. To Oregon. This is your one chance. One chance, you know. And you blew it. Yeah. Good shit. They blew it. They're retarded. Just like you. If, okay. If they would have won, do they go to... Although, the... Utah is the Noah of states. What? Land and white and Christian, but not really. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, you know what? Fair props, bro. That was a good one. That was a good one. Honestly, I mean, the dude went to college at Arkansas. I mean, uh, comments, people watching, what can, what can you do in Arkansas? What is there possible to do in Arkansas? It's got beautiful fights. Yeah, guess what? I can go on the internet and look at it by myself and uh, be happy about it and then go to a party where shit actually goes on. Yeah, bro, I'm going crazy. Tyler, Tyler Henley, man. Uh, Justin Herbert. Where do you think Justin Herbert's going to go? Uh, he'll be a top 10 to 15 draft pick. I'm thinking, like, San Diego sounds like a really good destination for him. Replace uh, Philip Rivers? Maybe Denver. Something like that. Denver can, just needs anybody. They can get any quarterback they need. Um, you think about other teams that really need... I mean, that's that's kind of in the realm that I'm thinking. I mean, Maybe if Miami gets a team's pick, they like that a little bit better than I hurt Tua. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of in the realm that I'm thinking. Because he's kind of a prototype quarterback that could use some work. Never had a real defining moment in college. Um, but it was definitely was a solid quarterback for a long time. So let's say this for a minute. So Tom Brady, obviously, is their 10-2 right now. So it's not going to be a high pick, obviously. So if Tom Brady retires up this year, do you think the Patriots will trade up to go get a semi, like a mid-tier quarterback? They won't ever trade up to a good quarterback while Tom Brady's there. I'm saying it And it's retires. not completely Tom Brady's fault. A, he doesn't have the weapons. Um, I mean, you think about them getting rid of Josh Gordon, and now they need speed. You have... Um, the rookie they have, the rookie receiver they have. But other than that, um, let's see. Amendola has been hurt, and then Philip Dorsett is a bust. And there's not much else after that. Mohamed like, Sanu has just not been good for us. Jesus. No. He's, he's just no, but I don't. I still. I don't think quarterback is the complete problem. I think it's all about the weapons. Sony Michelle has been hurt. I think he's now kind of being considered not that great of a player, although I think he's a he's really a playoff guy. So I mean don't 
don't rule out judgment on him yet, but still. To be honest, our receiving core is a retirement home, essentially. Benjamin yeah, Watson, basically. Matthew Slate, like Jesus Christ. I mean, we have James I think, White. I think if they if they stay late, there's a there's a couple good tight ends that are worth taking in the late first round that I could see them going to go get, trying to get trying to reinvigorate a Gronk or something to that effect. Also, you know Gronk, I mean? you hear about ESPN like going crazy over Gronk. So like, I have a surprise for y'all. Like I have an announcement to make or whatever a couple weeks ago. Yep. Yeah, I mean, if you honestly thought Gronk was going to say, I'm coming back, you're fucking retarded. Because he really wasn't. Like, my goodness. Like, y'all think Gronk's going to come no, back? I, I didn't think he was coming back. I mean, you leave with a .69 touchdown ratio, you're not coming back. Yeah. Gronk is so immature, he wouldn't want to ruin that. Uh, I mean, and that's why I love the guy. Like, I hate that he was on the Patriots, but I do love, I mean, he is a laughable, lovable goofball. He's a he's uh he's like Johnny Manziel but with talent. Johnny well Johnny Manziel had talent, like no he's not because he wasn't he's he acts like a retard but he's not a retard. There's a major difference. He acts like a party loving fun guy. He's like a Pat McAfee, but like tight end. <laughs> I mean I'm just saying because you know Johnny Manziel be going crazy. I mean he I mean he remember when he went to the uh, CFL and just absolutely sucked cock. You have five picks in the one half. I'm like, that's yeah, your career's over, bro. I mean, the thing is, yep. if he wasn't partying like crazy, you still have a career probably. Because he wasn't. Mm-hmm. He, I mean, he has seven touchdowns, seven interceptions. Yes, but like, he he was getting improving. Right. Yeah, he had a, the starting ability to. He had the ability to start for this year, and then got yeah. Who did? Who yep. did he lose to? If, if he doesn't be his girlfriend or have any stupid charges against him, he probably would be a commodity in the XFL, but he had to go and ruin his life, and this is, he's kind of paying the price for that. It was like, what, the, the quarterback situation with Jai Menzel, and what, what was the other guy that was he was fighting for the starting position with? No idea. Exactly. I mean, that's that's how you know. Like, you have no idea the guy is, neither do I. So that's just how you know Jai Menzel is, is GG's friend, bro. Yep. I mean, honestly, ESPN loves ruining careers. I mean, they're, right now, they are. we can all agree that Zion is going down that hill right now. He's Chris on ruined, but I feel like they have so much pressure on him to the point where it's like, fucking hell. If he doesn't, yeah, because he's not going to come back the same player he was in college, and everybody's going to say, oh, he's a bust. When he was never going to live up to the hype that was given to him. Take a great example from Mark Hilfoltz. Yep. Perfect example. Although, I mean, he he's hyped up way more than Mark Hilfoltz was. Remember when Mark Hilfoltz was like, I'm going to win MVP in my rookie year? <laughs> yeah, okay. That dude. So, um, what's it called? So you said you have you you like UFC, right? Yeah. Did you watch the fights tonight? I didn't watch the fights tonight, but I'm gonna go watch the uh, the fights on next Saturday. But, uh, I think there's a Max Holiday fight. There's a uh, uh, there's a couple. There's a like it's a really good card next weekend. Right. All right. So I'm gonna talk about boxing because I fucking love boxing. Um, mm-hmm. I'm looking go at ahead. the card. Yeah, this card looks nice. Yeah, Max Holiday, bro. I'm excited. Uh, there's a couple of fights that's coming up that I'm really excited for. And I'm, you know, for UFC and unboxing. Also, I hope, mm-hmm. I really hope uh, Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder can get together. Deontay Wilder is my favorite boxer, probably, not of all time, but right now he's definitely my favorite. So if I could see Anthony Joshua versus Wilder, Jesus Christ, it's GG's, it's GG's. And also, Conor What, what do you think about the, um, what do you think about the Conor McGregor fighting Cowboy? Oh yeah, Cowboy. I'm actually really excited to see that. I hope. Uh, I really hope Conor McGregor wins, man. I want Conor McGregor back. I know everyone's gonna be like, oh my god, Conor McGregor's a terrible person. He punched the old dude. Shut up. Okay, stop bandwagoning. Conor McGregor's a decent guy. Fuck out of here. Okay, he's just well, no, he's decisions. not a decent guy, but he's a fun guy to watch. He's, he, he makes dumb decisions, but he's funny as hell. He he made the UFC fun. Let's just be obvious. Right. Let's give him he respect. definitely he definitely helped brand the UFC the way it is now. No one cared about UFC until well, people obviously care about like no one get, it didn't get the exposure they got until right. Conor McGregor got there. I mean, how, what what man can quit UFC to go fight the biggest boxer, Floyd Mayweather, Money Mayweather, and just come right back yeah. and nothing happened? Got paid a hundred. Oh my goodness, that that remember that fight? Mm-hmm. That fight was amazing. He been fucking Although I definitely knew money uh, Mayweather was gonna win, like there was yeah, no obviously, because you know he had no. Although experience. if it was a if it was the UFC, it'd be way different. Yeah, so but you a... knew you knew money you knew Mayweather would never agree to that. So yeah, he's not gonna do that. 
especially now. He's coming back in 2020, but I wouldn't do it. Why? Why ruin your legacy like that? I mean, yeah. Why, what else do you have to gain except money? You're 50-0. Like, leave, leave your, yeah, you're 50-0. You know. You're going to lose now? Retard. Yeah. I mean, let's talk about the Conor, the Conor McGregor fight against Cowboy. Because I okay. actually am I'm going to analyze it a little bit. So, Conor McGregor, you, I think he's going to fight like he did against Mendez. I think he's going to come out hungry as fuck. Because everyone... You know how much shit he's been getting over the months. Just people... Yep. doubting him constantly i think he's gonna come out really strong in the first and second rounds then mm. if, if don if cowboy is still there because you know cowboy's a freaking monster yeah it's it's, it's con i think cowboy will win it in the later rounds but if conor mcgregor wants to win he has to win early and quickly connor is gonna win i'm gonna i'm gonna say connor wins uh and it, it'll be a it'll be like third round i'm gonna say second just because i feel like I don't know. I feel like Cowboy has like slow starts, but then once he gets into the fight, he just he's gonna go crazy. And I, for some reason, what, man, what, what was the, I forgot what the fight's at? Is it at one fifty five or one seventy? I think it's a uh, welterweight. I think. What was yeah. Like? What are they fighting at? Yeah, I'm gonna just search up. Because I think Conor McGregor has fought Diaz at one seventy. You know, Donald has gone between one fifty five and one seventy as well. So that, that could be something big as well. Because Andrew Ruiz said the reason why he lost the fight is because he gained too much weight. And I, I think he's he's it's right. You know, he was slow as hell in the in the in the boxing ring tonight. Because Anthony I Joshua can't watch that I, I legit I can't watch that dude fight. <laughs> Andy Ruiz. His fat like jiggles around and that's all I can focus on. Oh that's yeah, it's a Walter White fight. One yeah, yeah. The non title fight. That's yeah, makes sense. Well yeah, neither neither of them have a fucking title. Sure. Remember when uh, he had two? The good old days? Yep. Yeah. Remember when Poirier was coming close to two and then just got beaten the fuck oh, out of Oh, man. <laughs> Remember when Khabib ruined Conor McGregor's career? Yep. I mean, listen, no, listen. what I thought was my funny and my funniest moment is, um, oh, what's his name? Uh, Miocic, Estipe, um, jigging on Daniel Cormier after getting his uh, title back. <laughs> Wait, did he? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't see that. Okay, yeah, I watched the uh, the Stipe Cormier fight, and Stipe literally did the jig uh, after beating uh, Cormier. Oh my god, Cormier is such a bitch. I don't give a fuck what else says. Cormier is a bitch. We need John Jones Cormier three. Oh god, let's just be honest. Like John Jones is levels above um, him. That's Although it said that we're gonna get a we're gonna get a Stipe um, Cormier trilogy. So the fight I'm actually really excited to see is Khabib versus Ferguson. I really yeah. excited to see that fight. I think Khabib's gonna destroy him, but I still think it's gonna be a good fight. It got canceled. What? The Ferguson Khabib fight. It got canceled. Oh, damn. That's what it says on the. Uh... Oh shit. I didn't even. I didn't, have nothing, I didn't even know about that. Wow. Well, that was gonna be a good fight too. Because Khabib, you know how Khabib is on the ground. It's GG's. Yeah. No, I want to see Khabib fight again. He needs he needs to get... The, he, although, I do think if Conor wins, he, he faces Khabib. Oh, I, I, was Khabib about to say that. I was about to say, do we see a Conor McGregor versus Khabib part two? Oh, yeah. Well, that would Will it be different, the result? No. Nah. Nah, Absolutely. Yeah, it's not going to be different. I just feel like Conor McGregor, he's obviously a stand-up fighter, and when Khabib gets him to the ground, there's nothing Conor And Khabib McGregor. will get him to the ground, inevitably. Yeah. So, uh, legit, it's over. Uh, so NFL, you want to talk about NFL? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Tomorrow, well, essentially, say it's Saturday night, so it'll be it'll be the morning of Sunday, essentially. Yeah. So the NFL schedule today, my guys. Ooh, it's a good one. I'm pulling up right now. We got Texas. Wait, was it Texans? Oh, wait, we got Detroit versus Minnesota and all these teams. Who cares? Minnesota's gonna win. Helps their playoff implications. There's yeah. not a. Dalvin Kirk's gonna run all over that defense. It's uh, it's pretty much over. You know the game I'm excited to see. What? Miami. Ver Wait, is this game already? Hit? The Jets and Miami already happened. No. Oh no no. It's, they it's played football. twice. Idiot. I didn't. I thought it was the same game. Oh, they flip flop. I thought because Miami. You're yeah. a retard. You're a stupid. Okay, retard. listen, cunt. Okay, I saw it. It was it was messed up on the website. I apologize. No, it wasn't. You're just stupid retard. You can't see my screen, so clearly <laughs> go suck my cock. Stupid retard. Shut your bitch ass up, you ugly bag. No, I don't think I will. Nah, nah, I think you should. Nah, Rosa nah. Parks. 
<laughs> what, is, what is that one? Okay. <laughs> you never, you've never seen that meme? <laughs> no. It's a quote that says, yeah, it's a picture of Rosa Parks that just says, nah. And then oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> there's no good games. I'm trying to see if there's anything like, interesting. San there's, Francisco versus there, Orleans. New Orleans. What? We've got San Francisco versus New Orleans. Yeah, no, that'll be a good game. I mean, uh, who do you got? Uh, give me New Orleans. Actually, you know what? New Orleans has been on a roll. Give me San Francisco. I think they, like, the same thing that Tampa, that, um, oh, that Atlanta did to, um, you remember when, when Atlanta beat New Orleans? I think the same thing happens. When San Francisco comes in and beats New Orleans. Although I do think in the playoffs that New Orleans gets a dub. You think New Orleans is going to beat them in the playoffs? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I got New Orleans this game just because I think uh, Jimmy last week, you know, I, I, you know, I think Orleans, New Orleans is hot. They're a hot team right now. They're going crazy. It's, uh, Kansas City versus the Patriots. Yep, I think Kansas City wins. There's no doubt in my mind that Kansas City wins here. I agree because Kansas City has more than the line. Not only that, but like the way that um, the Patriots have not been playing well. Um, even even like in their wins, their defense is always and they're staying in this. And I think that Mahomes can overcome the defense. Think about this for a minute. Lamar Jackson and De- Deshaun Watson, what do they have in common? Who? Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. I think Deshaun Watson is the better pure passer, and I I think that he's a bit smarter. No, bit Sam, what they have in Football IQ. Lamar Jackson's a better runner, and right now has the better, fresher legs. I think as Lamar Jackson keeps going his career, he's going to have to be able to sit down, sit in the pocket, and throw it. I was saying, what, what they super have successful. Like, because could you think about Cam, right? Cam's having a problem right now. Not only the injuries, but like having a problem like he's always had, being able to sit in the pocket and read and throw. Now, I think that Lamar Jackson is better at that and will be better at that. But I think that Deshaun Watson is going to have a better overall career, especially later in his career, because he has that ability to sit in the pocket and make the throws. Yeah. What do they have in common, though? Both of them. In common, obviously, running ability, getting out of the pocket, um, reading. Um, Lamar Jackson's obviously faster, and I think that he also. I, I think he takes less risks when running the ball, other than like Deshaun Watson is going to take more risk, and that's why he has a higher injury chance. But that's another thing. They're both black, and Tom Brady has not been a, back, a black quarterback this season. Who cares? Tom Brady's racist, man. I'm telling you. He can't beat them. That's tough. So what is Patrick Mahomes, technically? What is he? I think he's probably he's probably mixed of something, but... I mean, it's light, it's probably light skin because, you know, he, every single girl has him on their story. light skin eyes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Aaron does. <laughs> oh, my God. No one's going to know who she is. <laughs> no one's going to know Do who I she care? is. Do I care? No. Yeah, you're cool, bro. Although we've talked about her before. On this channel. She's been on the podcast, guys. If you, if you want to, I'm not gonna show. Has she? Yeah, she remember the, hasn't. the first podcast we did. You guys want to see my boo boo? That was, but yeah, but that wasn't defeated. That wasn't on this channel, though. Oh, are you sure? That was the first one we did. The Kodak yes. one. Remember the Kodak one we did? Was that? Yeah, because remember we came in, we started dying on, on the live stream. Oh shit! You might be right. <laughs> you guys want to see my boo boo? We're like, what the fuck? Yeah, because I said, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. You're right. Have you uh, checked out any albums this weekend? Uh, I have not, personally. I'm pretty sure you've been getting spammed with the X one, haven't you? What? XXX. What? Did he drop or something? Yeah, he dropped uh, Bad Vibes Forever this weekend. Yeah. I have not been paying attention. Him, Kambi- Camila Cabela dropped one. I think Robbie Ray I don't one. give a fuck about that bitch. I was about to say, like, cause there was there's a tweet that came out. It was a uh, if I swear to God if XXX uh, finishes number one over Amelia Cabela, that I swear to God, like, why are women beaters getting? I'm like, first off, he was never accused, so go fuck yourself. He never got charged, so you can't. Why like you have no proof to call him a, a women beater? Second off, Camila Cabela is not good. I mean, she, obviously, she's good because you know people like her. Like, okay, she's she's yeah, good to like, people that like her music. I just don't Tupac like her. did shit wrong. Doesn't mean like his uh, post mortis uh, albums didn't do. I mean, amazing, right? Think about albums he released after he died. 
right? Of unfinished music and how well they did. Probably went platinum, yeah. right? Like, same thing with X. X is going to be remembered with the Biggies and the Tupacs. As, you know, a career, you know, what could have been. It's true. Right? But I'm just saying, people need to stop acting like X is the greatest rapper of all time because he's not. He's good. He's not. No. I and before he comes like oh he's you're definitely good X. and I definitely think he actually has some talent other than other than like some other artists we know like Six Nine has no actual talent but like <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually hype. like it's singing hype. talent and that kind of stuff but also you know he did do some bad things in his life and, you the, know the but thing, that's though, kinda... is, besides like what X did that no one else did is he actually changed. And you can right. see in his videos, he definitely changed. I really like it. I think he should have been if he. I think he would have kept if he didn't die. He definitely became some sort of like gaming YouTuber because he's funny. His two videos that he has, their games videos, are fucking hilarious. So I think he's very like multi, you know, type of personality. Unlike you know rappers yeah. who just say the same shit constantly. Right. I honestly did like Bad Vibes Forever. There are some songs that are trash. School Shooters is probably one of the worst songs I've heard all year, with uh, Lil Wayne. Yeah, Lil Wayne, stop using auto tune, bro. It's like, I know, like old auto tune. That's like, old, old, that's like asking no, I'm saying. Pain to stop doing. Let me, let me, let me say it. Okay, I'm talking about nowadays how he uses it. Nowadays, back in the old days, it was perfect. Nowadays, he just it's, it's so much more and it's so bad. But then again, yes, I know his voice sounds like when he t- have you seen him like on on Undisputed? I have not. He literally sounds like he needs to clear his voice constantly. Like it's, it's, it's probably because of all the all the all the shit that he took. Exactly. <laughs> it's it's yeah. He, he was I mean, like probably killed his lungs. Lil Wayne was so off beat that Blueface got jealous. Damn. I'm just at the, at the beginning. Obviously, he he recovered towards the end of the verse, but Jesus Christ, it was un- unlistenable for the first ten seconds. Besides that, I mean, the song with Blink One Eighty Two is a banger. I fucking love that song. Well, then, Blink One Eighty He stopped touring Blink One Eighty Two because then it's like. Oh, that's not my style. Like, I don't think I fit here. Like, shit, fuck that. Honestly, Bitch. the feature that I'm super happy about that it was on XS album was Kill Station. I fucking love Kill Station. Yeah. And then, uh, Noah Cyrus. Do you know who she is? Yeah. Yeah, she, she had a feature. She carried that song so much. But then again, X only had like 10 seconds in the song because it's unfinished music. Because his, his mom is just using him for clout and money. I mean, not completely, but like, like you would understand. Like, if you had a famous, let's say, yeah. you grew up and your son was famous and he died unexpectedly, you would want to release his stuff to the public. I mean, he, if he was loved, right? And then also, might as well make some money off of it, right? Then I mean, it's, she, it's she, she obviously it looks like she grew up in like he didn't grow up in a good amount of money, so you know, there's probably a reason, right? What I mean by that is like they're 10 second songs. They like 10 second recordings that they're turning into like two minute songs. They're just him saying the same stuff over and over, like loop songs. You know, they're, they're, obviously you can tell they're not even close to being finished, but they're putting, they're just throwing like a feature on there to save the song. Essentially, right. that's what they're doing. Yeah, I do blame the, his the, his label more because you know how labels are nowadays. Right. It's funny, hungry. I mean, hey, fair props to her, you know, f- hey, I fuck with it. But the thing, the reason why I'm going at her is because you know how when you remember when she started selling t-shirts for five hundred dollars? Yeah. That shit's that was that was fucked up. The one song I really like is through a Jordan Lucas North North Star. I know it's an old song yeah. that X had, but that that Jordan Lucas is god tier. Fucking love Jordan Lucas. Jordan Lucas is great at like actual rapping. Like I, I, I do think, like him as one of the newer rappers that can like actually rap. I think the thing that's best about Jordan Lucas is his music videos. His, he's how he tells stories. And his music. That's videos. fair. Especially back, I think his best one's probably Ross. Uh, well, I don't even know how to say the last name. Caprio, that music video. Obviously, mm-hmm. Winter Blues. Lovely is a bank. Uh, Isis with Jordan, uh, I, uh, Logic, who, by the way, Logic actually had a good verse. <laughs> you know, believe it or not, nowadays he doesn't play much. He doesn't play that many good Huge verses. Trash. I don't, I don't like Logic. I'm not a Logic guy. Yeah, same. I really like his old shit though, but you know. <laughs> once he, once he released 18, oh, like 1800, like. Just He's kind of just been like a pop guy now. I hate to say this, but since whenever his wife left him, his music took a downhill turn. Yeah. But like, he has some decent songs, you know. Homicide with Eminem was a banger, but then again, I do think Eminem carried that song. Yeah. 
because you know logic was <laughs> talk about being biracial once again it's just the perfect way to ruin right. the song go listen to uh that one song with him and Joy the the five nine guy royce the five nine royce the five nine yeah remember he did a remix on uh, the song with caterpillar yeah logically mm -hmm. half the first spent on a tangent about being biracial he's like oh everyone wants to wonder why i'm so bi oh, everyone has a problem with biracial whatever he said i don't even remember what he said but i was like no no one cares that you're biracial you keep bringing it up constantly yeah I did see a video though, someone said Logic's the worst mic rapper to ever touch a mic, and I was like, okay, calm down. Calm down. Yeah, obviously there's worse. Yes, <laughs> there's, there's dude, his, his name is 6 9 he's terrible. <laughs> you really hate 6 9 do you? I hate 6 9 without a doubt. Let's admit though, he has a, he has some bangers. He makes No, I songs. can't I literally cannot listen to any song with him because of his his voice is just awful. I will admit his 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 album, the only album he dropped, obviously his day six nine was an album, but we don't really count it. His debut album, I'm putting finger quotes up because it's not really technically his debut album. It was pretty bad, but there's some good songs on there. Mom, Mama with Nicki Minaj and uh, Kanye West. But yeah, the, the thing about him, the so only way he does well is if he has features of other like big rapper, big name rappers. That's the thing though. That's what you have to do is like a rapper. You have to, like if you're like that type of rapper, you're just you're just hype based. You have to have features, or else your your songs are gonna flop. Although that, that's why, like I understand people don't like J Cole, but it's amazing that he went platinum with a no features. Let's think about this for a minute. Like, what album? Well, obviously, Lil Pump, Harvard Dropout flops. What album with like a shit ton of features doesn't flop? You know, I can give yeah. you so many examples of rappers that ha are pretty big that have no features at all, and their albums flopped. Let's look, let's go down the list. Lil Mosley, 24k first week, one feature. It's tra uh, Trippy Red. Uh, I know this is last year, but Takeoff, 49k first week, two features. You know, um, the only rapper I can think of that had less than three features and had over 100k uh, first week is Juice World. But then again, it's Juice World. You know, you have to be that big to get that type of. And if he had a lot of features on his album, how much more do you think his his album would have done? Right, but I don't like. Also, I don't know how well he works with the other artists. You know what I mean? I like his songs are Trippy, pretty. Him and Trippy Red are just they're they're a duo, and him and Ski Mask as well. Yeah. But I the thing is though, yes, I know independent labels don't have that big of a budget, Chris. So like Lil Mosley couldn't afford more features. That's why. That's the difference. That's why, if you are an up and coming rapper, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're gonna do because. If you want to go to a major label, yes, you're gonna get big time features, but you're gonna have less money, and you're gonna hate your situation a lot more, and you're gonna have less freedom. You're not gonna determine where your career goes. Independent, you have less money to work with, but you get more of your profits as well as you choose where your, your career goes. So it's like a trade off essentially. Right. So whatever rapper does, it's well. That's kind of why you gotta make friends, or if you sign a contract. <laughs> Perfect example. You, you sign Montana. a contract with a label for for like one album, and then after that. You know, you get a lot of features, you get some good work in, you get a lot, you get, you make some friends in the industry, and then you go ahead and go out by yourself and then have all that kind of extra work. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm looking at uh, French Montana around. He dropped an album last Friday, and his songs, like all the views, are high because of the features. That's how you know right there. Also, I know you don't like him, but Lil Pump, like, he's smart as fuck. Because what he did was he dropped an album, got off his deal. And signed another deal for eight million dollars for one album. Got eight million dollars to finesse the fuck out of label and is rich as hell and a free agent right now, not having to owe money to anybody. I mean, he's going crazy. Yes, he'll be broken a year, but like at the moment, he's going crazy. Just because he makes one smart decision doesn't mean he's smart. It's. I mean, it's smart in a lot, pretty much every single rapper out there because they all get they go they become slaves. Maybe, but I mean, I still I don't like the guy. I just don't. You gotta admit though, he's entertaining. It was music as shit. <laughs> it is kind of sad because I do listen to all the songs. I mean, I do actually have get it constantly. Kodak, man, it's a sad story, isn't it? Four years in prison. I know it's late for us to talk about, it, but you know we haven't talked about it on a podcast. He's a fucking retard. I mean, to be honest, he's had so many chances. Exactly. Like, how do you fuck up that many times? Kodak actually makes some good music. 
Yes, I know he has that whiny yeah, voice. Yeah, I mean, like... I can accept that. I mean, I'm again, I'm not a big Kodak guy, but like, I, I did like a couple of his songs. But I mean, the way he got so many freaking chances and fucked it all up. Like, how do you do that? Yeah, it's at some some point where you're just like, okay, bro, come on now, you gotta get your shit together. Yeah. You got anything else you want to talk about, my guy? Um. So what's your prediction? Okay, let's say that LSU is one, Ohio State is two, Clemson is three, and Oklahoma is one, which I'm pretty sure is going to be. What are your What is your prediction for the play for the uh, college football playoff? I know it's boring, but I just I think Ohio State and LSU are just going to win. I don't. I don't see Oklahoma. Who, who winning. wins that game? Uh. Ohio State. Fuck it. I agree. With, I agree. I think LSU gets away with the win just because Ohio State has some flaws and then Ohio State comes back next year and goes off. Because, yeah. I mean, Justin Fields can't can't go for the draft yet and anything like that. Although I do think there's a real injury chance for him over the next couple games that he's got to be careful of. Yeah, we saw that at the... Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, think, yeah. think about he went down the Michigan game and everybody got scared. Obviously, he came back, threw a touchdown on the first play, he got like a 50-yard bomb. But like, still, you still got to be worried about him. His injury, uh, his he, he has some injury, you know, problems. Uh, you don't you, you don't want to ruin a quarterback. Like, I mean, he's got a promising future ahead of him. Very promising. No matter how much of a frog he looks like, like he's got a promising future. I'm looking at the online reaction. Most a lot of people, most people are saying LSU is going to win it all. That's what the the general yeah. consensus is right now. Although there's a there's a, I mean Ohio State could win it. It's really up for grabs right now between those two teams. But I don't think Clemson has a chance. They're a they're way too cocky, and b I don't think they have that good of a team, especially as like of last year. And then you also you I don't think Oklahoma has a chance in hell. Yeah, we'll just have to see, man. I mean, what is it January? They're like the first week of January, right? When the the game. Yep. Is, be, be, yeah. It's gonna be fun. I mean, if Oklahoma or Clemson somehow wins, Jesus Christ! I right. think I think the between Clemson and Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma has a better chance of upsetting, just because I feel like Clemson, yeah, they like yeah. too cocky and shit. I don't think I think it's right. gonna be affected by them. But I I don't think they'll upset LSU. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that they have a better chance at doing it than Clemson does. Right. So that's gonna wrap up. The Although point. I mean, you really never know, but yeah. like. Still. Uh, other than that, uh, Pittsburgh. Or I'm gonna call it right now that Pittsburgh loses to Arizona tomorrow, and oh, really? it, it basically kills their playoff chances. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go on that limb. A, they're playing in Arizona. B, I don't know how well the Steelers are gonna be able to defend a um, a mobile quarterback. And C, like I don't know. I just have you know, the Steelers always lose play down to their opponents, and I think they're gonna play down to this opponent. Plus, I mean, you have an unex- inexperienced quarterback and all that kind of stuff. Like, they could rattle him. I mean, if you're playing Gus Hodges, you might as well blitz him. I mean, I think that's your best chance. You go ahead, you make him scared. I mean, that's what that's what you kind of got to do with inexperienced rookie quarterbacks. And, I mean, if you don't do that, you're kind of stupid. Like, that's what you, I mean, if I was Pittsburgh, I'd do the same thing on the other side. Make – obviously, keep, keep contain – on Kyler Murray, but blitz him, get him rattled, hit him. Um, T- have TJ Watt come off the edge and just kind of be a monster. I mean, if they get a couple good hits in, he's not going to want to go down a few of the pro, you know? So, right, he's a small guy, too. I don't know how much power he's going to be able to take. It'll be it'll be very interesting, the game plan that both teams put together. Um, obviously, there's no playoff chances for Arizona, but uh, playoff implications for Pittsburgh. Um other than that, I want to. The other other interesting game is um, Buffalo and Baltimore, and I think Buffalo could have a shot to win it, but I don't think they will because Josh Allen's gonna throw some inaccurate passes because he's garbage. Don't be surprised if Lamar Jackson struggles again. Yeah, that too because Buffalo has a really good defense. Yeah, that's. I think that's so. what's gonna hurt them big time. I got Buffalo in that game. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do have Buffalo in that game. And I do think that Buffalo could make a run for that, uh, for 
the NFC East, you know, the NFC East this year and have it not be Tom Brady and the Patriots, which would be nice to see. Obviously, the Patriots are going to make the playoffs, but, like, if they, if Buffalo beats, um, if Buffalo beats Baltimore and New England loses to Kansas City, they have the same record, 10-3. Obviously, New England still has the upper because they beat Buffalo earlier in the season. But think about it. Remember how close that game was. So, and they still have one more time to play. So you never really know. Yeah, they imagine Buffalo being one of the best teams in the AFC. Jesus Christ. Yeah, nobody really expected that. Which is, I mean, it's always nice to have uh, a team you don't expect make it far. Same thing with Tennessee. I mean, especially after their quarterback fiasco, their quarterback fiasco they've had for a while in Tennessee with Mariota not being, you know, the greatest. Right? You mean you plug Ryan Tannehill in, and he's been really good for him. So I mean, you know, you never know what's truly going to happen. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I mean, NFL season's winding down. Other than that, NBA, their coach, the, the Knicks fired their coach for no reason. Scapegoat. Steve Mills needs to go. James Dolan needs to die. And um, I'm actually, you know, I'm happy for Fizz. I do like Fizzdale. I'm happy, you know, Fizzdale. I mean, I'm kind of glad he got out of there. He should not have been a part of that match. James I like Dolan the guy. The best the I don't need to. Do, do I need to go over to your house and rape you? <laughs> okay. I would not want to do that. But, I mean, if I have to, I have to. You know what I mean? James Dolan has done some great decisions. He's made some great decisions. You know what I'm saying? I think the you best know, why don't I, made... Why don't I kick you out of the stadium for uh, for call, for saying that I should sell the team, whether, that, even yeah. though that's what I should actually do? Net worth is $1.5 billion. Wow. Why don't you take Do I care? Joke on it. No. But then again, like, it's expensive. To buy it, to buy a team, and then try and like reshape that entire franchise. So, I mean, other than that, NBA is going to be interesting. But I mean, there's too many NBA games. Let's be real here. Like, it's too long of a damn season. No, honestly, I got. It. I think it's towards the middle of the season we'll be able to get like a good image of what's in it. Who knows? Other than that, I mean, the East. I want to see Luca. I think. I mean, I want to see Luca win MVP. I don't think he will. I think LeBron wins it, but I want to see Luca win MVP. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Dallas is going strong, even though they have two losses to the New York, two losses to the Knicks, which is funny. Yeah, good fuck, good fuck, Mavericks fans. Yeah, Mavericks. Oh God. Fans, you want you know the best way to piss off Mavericks fans? Just scream Fudorku. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I wish I had that. Yeah. We do during the winter break. We do need to do some vlogs where we just go around and do the shit. I mean, isn't that what we already do? We just don't record it. Yeah, I have a camera, so I might as well just come. Yeah, y'all, you, you, you should be my my camera guy. We'll just mean, you know, I know Noah will be. Noah's gonna be the camera guy. Yeah, because he's like the, the blandest guy ever. I mean, oh his God. his only sex position is missionary. Missionary, and that's only when he's in the mood. Missionary's kind of lit though. I'm not gonna lie. But my no, favorite, but like, my favorite is probably cowgirl. Like, right, but it's, oh, yes. no, but yes. under the covers with the lights off, missionary. <laughs> For fuck's sake. So she can't see how small his cock is. Oh, I mean, I, when did she fill it? What? When did she fill it? Oh my god. She'd be like, what is it in? You know, I'm, I'm not, I, I gotta stop this conversation. This is just some nation. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining the podcast. Uh, no one, no offense. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next week. I should get it. Gang, gang, gang. Smoke first, drop it out next week. <laughs> Fuck you, man, gosh. Shut up, you stupid retard. Grab for air like asthma, yeah. Hey in the street, now I pass him, yeah. Lock me up in a phantom, yeah. That boy think he got cancer, yeah. Pull up in D and we flood it, yeah. Lock that boy in a dungeon, yeah. Headhunter, I'm hunting, yeah. Spit fire like a dragon. I think too much. School fucking suck.